Hi, Anthony from Retail Edge here, and in a previous video, we went over how to export your inventory out of Retail Edge. Now, in this one, I would like to show you how you can use Excel to manipulate that data. First, go ahead and open Excel. And we're going to go over here to Browse, and I saved the file to my desktop. And I'm going to make sure I change this uh, file of the all Excel files over here in the lower right hand side. I'm going to change that to all files because I saved that file as a .txt. There's an important reason why I did that. Go ahead and open that file because I want to use this text import wizard because Excel has a, a bad habit of truncating leading zeros. And unfortunately with item IDs, they can start with a zero. Uh, same with stock numbers. Many users have, have the zeros or UPC values. They can start with zero as well. So we want to make sure we tell Excel to treat this data one as a comma separated file and two to treat all these columns as text. So making sure that the limited is set there. Next, and I'm going to change it from tab delimited to comma. And you can see there in the data preview how that changed. So I go back to tab, see it's all the blob of text. And if I go ahead and select comma and unselect tab, it's everything's nicely, nicely displayed in its row. I'm going to then hit next here and I want to control a, I can do that in Libre. So I'm going to shift all the way to right, grab my last column and change that to text. Let go with shift and hit finish. Now, you can see here that all my data is nicely aligned in its proper columns and rows. I'm going to hit the select all in the upper left hand corner, double click on my column width, and there you go. I can see my data. It looks, looks like it's fine. And this is a matrix family. So the reason why I targeted this one explicitly was I want to make sure I charge a little bit more on some of my items. So let's say, that my larges cost me about $2 more than, uh, than my other ones. I can go ahead, locate my large, my last cost, change that to $7 and locate my other large right here, change that to seven. And I'm just gonna, don't need to, Retailage will import it just fine once we save the file. I'm going to go over to right to my price. Same thing. I want to change it, reflect my uh, cost difference here. I'm going to say this is now $14. And I'm going to go back over, make sure I grab large right there. Change that also to $14 there. Now let's say I want to go ahead and get this file ready to import back into Retail Edge. I'm going to go to File, Save As, and you see here it wants to save it as text tab delimited. We do not want that. So I'm going to, from that drop down, I'm going to go ahead and change that to TSV MS DOS. And the reason for that is it's going to force it to save it as a comma separated value, which is what we want. And so I'm going to change my file name and just put to something that way I can easily identify, uh, identify this file. Go ahead and select save. And so it's going to warn me some data may be lost. I'm okay with that. So Ed and do that. All right. So now we should have a file on our desktop Ed and this over. Can see it invent underscore two dot csv this file is ready for import into retail ledge i hope you found this video a little bit useful and talk to you guys next time